is something we don't get to see often. One to Atlantic rooms and puddles in the streets. Strange folks start to appear, and the city presents itself from our new side. Despite the discomfort, I love being out here. Car lights create shadows, and the sound of raindrops tapping against the pavement give a rhythm to it all. Tonight the idea is to take advantage of the last winter storm of the year and photograph a wet Lisbon with all the puddles and hopefully some um umbrellas that come with it. To be honest, it actually feels a bit like London. I'm not sure if the footage does it uh, justice in that sense, but you get the vibe. Um, but the thing that's special about Lisbon is the super yellow street lights, which you can either love or hate. Personally, I don't really mind. I just find it a bit harder to get the white balance to a, to a correct point, or at least to, to the point where I like it. Um, and I think I shoot a bit more black and white in the night anyway, so it's not a big issue. Location-wise, I think we'll stay in the city center again, so around Chiado and the surroundings. Just, just because I want to stay away from the residential areas, because it gets super quiet at night. And yeah, it's pretty hard to do street photography when there's no one around. It's the last few winter days since it's already March. And that also means that the sun only sets at 7 p.m. So I presume it's gonna be a bit of a long night. I also want to take a moment to talk about like the pros and cons of shooting at night. Um, so I think the first thing is that the lighting is completely different to, to the daytime. So that means that the scenes that we would go um, every day now look completely different. Like the shops are closed and the bars open. So it's um, a completely different vibe even though you're in the same location which is really cool. So you kind of re-explore um, the same places again which I really like. And the other, other thing would be that it's now really easy to do long exposures. Um, and I think that's something that I really want to do tonight. Um, just because, like, I think it's one of my favorite things to do. It's a lot of fun because the act of photography is normally just like one split second. And now it becomes like a bit more of a perceivable time frame. And you can, I mean, you can pan and you can do lots of things. So the act of taking a photograph is a bit more active. When it comes to challenges, um, I think there's one 
really obvious one. So when you go go out at night and you only come back at 1, 1 p.m., it's probably going to cost you some sleep. So um, I'm not really a morning person, but I also value my eight hours if I can get it. And getting home really late also means that I'm going to bed really late. So when I'm out, um, I don't really hang, hang out as, as much. I don't. I just make the time worth the while in a, in a way. So I, I work harder than I normally do, um, just be, because the alternative is I can I can go to sleep. Um, so that's not really a disadvantage. I think, I think that's an advantage, but that only goes for me, and I think everybody's different in that regard. Another thing would be that it's all low light conditions, so you can't be shooting at f8 all the time. So that also means that you need a bit more um, specialized equipment. You need a faster lens, for example, and um, yeah. So I, I'm going to be shooting on a manual focus lens as well, which means that I also have to take more time to focus. When you have autofocus, it's going to be a bit easier, but um, that's also one thing to take into consideration. And the last thing would be that post-processing is probably not as fast, um, especially in, in the city when you have like a lot of mixed light sources. You have the street lights, you have the cars, you have um, the lights from the shops or bars or whatever. So these all will have a different different color cast. So to balance that out right, it just takes a bit more time. You have to do it a bit more scene by scene.